Good day, my name is Dr. Ho Xiu Fin. I'm a consultant ophthalmologist and ocular plastic surgeon in KMC Medical Center in Yipo. Today, I'd like to talk about droopy eyelid in the children, or what we call the congenital ptosis. Ptosis means droopy eyelid. Why a droopy eyelid happen? Because the muscle which lift the eyelid up no longer working. It can happen in one eye or happen in both eyes. Please look at the forehead muscle here. The muscle was hardly contracting in order to lift the eyelid up. Usually people with this condition do not have other illnesses in the rest of the body. And people may just say that, well, it's just a cosmetic issue, no big deal, right? Actually, it's more sinister. First of all, we know that when a baby is born, they do not see very well. In the first seven years of life, they learn to see. The image which is captured by the eye will be transmitted to the brain as a brain signal. If the toes happen, there will be less image capture, less signal to the brain, and with time, the brain may even stop to receive any signal coming from that part of the eye. And therefore, a condition called amblyopia or lazy eye will develop. Lazy eye means that the eye looks normal, but actually it cannot see very well. As it's important to know that this condition is irreversible if it happens after six, uh, seven years. The second issue is that the drooping eyelid can press on the eyeball, causing the change in the shape of the eyeball and leading to astigmatism or myopia, which is short sightedness. And this condition needs to be corrected with the glasses. And thirdly, because the eyelids have drooping down, the child may adopt a different position in order to see. They may have to have a chin up or they might turn their face onto one side. Both of these conditions can strain the neck muscle and causing neck pain. But one of the things which often overlooked by a lot of people is that it can cause a negative psychosocial effect on the people. We know some children may tease other children who look different from them. And in fact, I have a few parents come to bring their child to see me in order to get it fixed before they go to school because they're afraid the child would be teased and bullied by other people at school. Even for those people who never get bullied, somehow their self-esteem can become quite low because they know that their eye doesn't look normal. And thankfully, there are some effective management for this condition. Surgery is a mainstay for this condition and it can be in a form of frontalis sling or lateral resection. For those, frontalis sling is basically for those people who have muscle who are not working very well. If the child is less than age of 4 years old, he can use a synthetic material. But if they are above the, uh, 4 years old, they can take the little muscle from the tight to lift the top. And for those who have relatively good muscle function, we will cut the muscle to make it shorter and make it stronger. And this is a picture of frontalis sling. The green is the rod or the supramid or the fascia lata, which is threading to the little point here, two point down here and three point up here to lift the eyelid up when it's tied. And the good thing about this procedure is that the child will form a beautiful double eyelid. And this is uh, uh, one of the child who is one and a half years old done by me. You can see that is before the operation, the left eye is dripping down, and after the operation, both eyes have been lifted up. The mother actually commented to me after the operation, the child no longer bumped into the left side. And it's quite important that the parents are aware patients with this condition will not come to tell you that they cannot see because they've never seen that before in their life, so they do not know what they cannot see and what is normal. And it is therefore very important for the parents with a child in this condition to bring them to see the eye doctor to make sure that the eye doesn't have, uh, can see well and doesn't need to have glasses. And this is a child with both droopy eyelid and he's not looking down. That is the best looking up that he can achieve. And therefore, he walk around with the chin being lifted up. And that is after the operation. And that was this little scar in the side of the tie 
which was slowly faded with time. And this is an adult with a congenital ptosis. It means he has droopy eyelids since he's young. This patient confided with me that he does have self-esteem issue because he has one big eye and one small eye. And that is after the operation. Look at how beautiful the eye is and then you can see that she's smiling. And this is a 16 years old boy with a droopy eyelid. And just noted that he actually has wrinkles as in a 16 years old. Why was that? Because his forehead must have been really hard trying to lift this up. And that is one week after the operation, both eyes are quite symmetrical, quite large. And don't worry about this little star here, and that will go with time. And this is a boy who has the levator resection, one small eye and one big eye, normal, symmetrical. And the benefit of this procedure is that they don't have a little star here, but they only work for those children with the good muscle function. So it may not suitable for all. So, as all you can see that, droopy eyelid is not just a cosmetic issue. It can affect the vision, and it can uh, cause neck muscle painful, uh, it can cause lazy eye, and it can also cause negative psychosocial effects such as low self-esteem. And it's also very important that after the surgery, the child will have to keep on seeing the doctors in order to check that the vision is okay and that you don't need to have glasses or patching like this. Okay, I hope you find the above information useful and thank you very much for watching. Just to let you know that we are going to come up with a video for a ptosis happening in adult which occur after the contact lens wear or which occur when people get older. So please stay tuned and if you like our video, please press go to the website and go to the web page and press like on the Facebook. And thank you very much. We'll see you then. Bye.